never too early. You know, it's National Tequila Day. And what better way yes. to celebrate than invite uh, Saeed Brown from Barrio to give us some tips about uh, tequila. Absolutely. So you guys have quite the selection, almost one of the largest in the Midwest of tequila? I would go on a limb and say so, absolutely. Okay. All right. Definitely. So what makes the tequila good? I mean, there's we got brown, yellow, white. I usually go for the white. <laughs> Does it make yeah, me when as it, sick? I don't know. <laughs> when it comes to tequila, most of us know the Patrons, the Jose Cuervos, the, uh, the Don Julios of the world. Uh, but, however, um, a lot of it has different characteristics. As you move up, it will sit in these barrels and age. So we've got Blancos, Reposados, and Añejos. Okay, so the darker it is, the longer it's been aged. <laughs> the more it rests, the more it's blessed. How Makes, about that? Oh, I like <laughs> that. So what's the proper way to drink certain tequilas? Uh, if it was me, if somebody just wants a shot, say you're just celebrating or shooting something back, uh, I usually go for Blanco. I don't mind that, but if I sell somebody a Reposado or an Añejo, which is more top shelf, um, I kind of maybe give you a weird look if you... Uh, <laughs> just because you're going to be missing <laughs> most it's of the... a sipper. Exactly. Sip okay. it. You want to keep the airways open and I just breathe, breathe it in. Breathe it in. Absolutely. Uh, chilled? Do you usually serve it chilled? I don't mind chilled. Again, it would mainly just be the Blancos that I would chill. Okay. But I like to leave the Reposados and Inejos as they are. And I like them in a margarita. He's going <laughs> to stick around with us for our Facebook Live. We're going to show us even more drink. Maybe we can even try one. Absolutely. It's never too Absolutely. early, right, guys? Absolutely. I don't know.